This guy might be a spy. Yes, let's see what he is. See what I mean? This guy has link with witchcraft and he cannot leave. Your Majesty, I had a revelation and it is not clear to me we are walking a tightrope in this kingdom. What revelation? Omelabo. Omelabo of Abo Meme is no longer living in his original abode. I can tell you authoritatively that Omelabo has departed from the ancient safe. Who told you that? The messenger must spread. The messenger masquerade of Abom Mimi Kingdom appeared in the course of my ministration. He was the one that gave the information. I believe the messenger masquerade, Your Majesty, because all the things that happened in this kingdom in the last few years would not have happened if Omelabo were to be in the ancient self. Hmm. This is not happening. This is not happening. So, so where is Omelabo as we speak? According to the messenger masquerade, Omelabo now lives in the forest of Opene. My greatest problem right now, Your Majesty, is that I cannot even go there because Omelabo is angry with me. Angry with you? What for? They said I did nothing when our own Oganigwe sent his wife away from this kingdom for voicing the truth. That would have saved the land. The messenger masquerade told you that? Yes, Your Majesty. The messenger masquerade said all this. The only person that can go to Melabo as we speak 
is the son of Mopu. <laughs> Amazing. Are you all right? Umoku has no son. She was a barren woman. We, with all due respect, Your Majesty, the right thing for us to say is that our own Oganibwe was an impotent man. Umezo, how dare you speak evil of the dead? Oganibwe married a barren woman who could not bear me a child. Umoku was not a barren woman. When she was fired from this kingdom, she met a man of Imezi that married her briefly. That man from Imezi did in just one month what our Oganigwe was unable to do in years. He got Moku pregnant and she bore him a son. That son of hers is the only one that can appear before Omelabo. Amazo, where do you get all these stories? Mufu is still alive, Your Majesty. She actually wrote me a letter that I still have in my custody. The same visitor from Imezi who saw the revelation. The same man you made part of the delegation to Iba Kingdom. Enenyemwite. He is the son of Mopu. And I can tell you that he remains the only one that can see Omelabo and leave. My king, you look odd. What troubles you? Strange things are happening in the land, my queen. Strange things. Your Majesty, who is this woman? Who is this woman that has the temerity to walk into the throne room and sit right on the legs of the king? Ah. Her name is Nkiruka. Sorry I couldn't tell you because it was urgent. But I already sent some elders of the land to Abanabo to perfect all the protocols of her bride price. She is my queen. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable, your majesty. You mean to tell me that you did all that without telling me? Well, it's my life. And it's all about me. But don't you worry. Everything has been perfected down. She now lives with me as my queen. Well, hey, uh, this is Umezu here. He's the only sorcerer we have left here. Uh, we have him because uh, his own witchcraft is positive. He does no evil. But don't you worry. You get used to him and his holiness in the palace. Oh, for me, sir. Ah, well. If you ask me, my princess, I will say I don't know why this is bothering you. I mean, your father has tried to remain single all these years after the untimely death of your mother. So many men would have been married the very year they buried their wives. But he didn't. He stayed single. If he had decided to, to get another wife for himself now, I think you should be happy. Yes. Something tells me. There is something weird about the woman my father decided to marry with unexplainable urgency. Weird? I mean, how do you mean weird? When my father was introducing the woman to me, there was that same evil Jigida hanging round her neck. And then the Jigida was changing from one color to the other, right on her neck. <laughs> I'm sorry, my princess, but. Do you ever think that such a thing is possible? I mean, a woman with such outstanding beauty and class, she will never wear a, a waistband around her neck, you know? It was not in real life. My eyes were open. My inner eyes were open and I was seeing beyond the physical. I strongly believe that she has something 
to do with that same evil Jigida that kept me down for years. Yes. Your Majesty. I brought you into this strong room where we kept all the powers we inherited from our ancestors. All the powers that make you relevant are here. And I know you will not tell me lies. I am expecting you to tell me the truth. Where did you get that woman? And why were you in such a hurry to detail others to perfect a bright prize without even mentioning it to me, Your Majesty? The woman in question is already my queen. I am not happy that you have brought me here to discuss her. Your Majesty, I am sorry, but I want to remind you that you were the one that made the declaration alone. But I have reason to believe that you may have been hypnotized. Hypnotized? <laughs> what nonsense. I am the king. Now how could you have thought someone hypnotized me? By who? You do not look good. What is the problem? Your Majesty, I had a terrible dream last night. All about you. I'm very bothered. I want us to deal with it. May I hear this dream? Your Majesty, I saw you getting married to a very strange woman with four eyes. Two in the front, two at the back. She was a terrible woman. And you refused to tell anybody where you got such a terrible woman from. Eventually, you were showing her the kind of love you never showed anybody. You never even showed your wife. Ultimately, that strange woman with four eyes destroyed this kingdom because I saw her practically urinating on your head. And I, and I woke up and it was a dream, Your Majesty. A dream is business. For I have no woman in my life. The only woman in my life now is my daughter, the princess. And she is sick, which is my concern now. Besides, I will not bring any woman into my life now because such woman will stand between my children and I. Your Majesty, can I take what you just said as a royal promise from the king? Can I? Yes, most definitely. This is the promise I made today, the 20th day of April, 1990. You can hold on to that. Your Majesty, do you still remember the promise you made me on the 20th of April, 1990? Well, whatever promise that was made in 1990 has been overtaken by events. Our name is Nkeruka, which means that which is ahead is bigger and better. Now let's look into the future and stop worrying about what happened in the past. The sun rises in your eyes, and I tell you, I know you are the future of this kingdom. How is a wise man, Omezu? Ah, Omezu. Oh yes, uh, 
Omezo is busy making incredible decisions for this kingdom. But, but something we forget sometimes is that he is a sorcerer I admitted into this palace due to his noble qualities. My king, you sound as if you fall out with him someday. No, 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 not at all. His life and my life are tied together. And uh, we, we, there's no possibility of us falling out uh, with one another, you know. Uh, but we may disagree here and there with one thing or another, but we almost always immediately come back together and agree. Oh, but I can tell you, Omezu is a noble man of this land. He is. What makes you think I'll be comfortable with a liar hanging around me? Watch your tongue! Watch your tongue! You have no right whatsoever to call me a liar! You! You lied your way into the heart of the prince. You have bewitched them with your witchcraft, I know. And I ask you, what do you want from their land? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this possibly why you woke me up and brought me to this corner? Why? Why, my friend, are you such a terrible, terrible royal walker? If you must know, the prince now sees me as a partner. That's why he wants me to come along. <laughs> By the way, I don't know why you're asking very useless questions. Well, you can laugh all you want. But you know this. I do not talk too much. One day, I will prove that you are a wizard. And when I do, I will kill you with this sword. This sword that is already housing two powers that are independently bigger than witchcraft and sorcery. And mark these words. Anyone I kill with this sword on account of witchcraft or sorcery will not be buried. 
I will call upon the vultures of Abominable to feed on your evil cups. Then you must kill, you must kill that young man. He has guts in his sword. We cannot kill that young man. He has linked with the almighty Omelabotha. Leave that young man alone. Now concentrate with what you are doing. When we finally destroy the king and take over the kingdom, we will place him where he should be. the woman. So many things did not gel in my thoughts. Why was dad in such a hurry to settle down with the woman? At least he could have waited for my brother to return. She was the first person to come to the kitchen this morning. To do what? She came to tell the cook what she would eat. And guess what? She shocked the cook with her choice of breakfast. I mean, she, she wants something extremely heavy. And the cook was like, how can such a lady want something extremely heavy in the morning? I don't know. I just pray we get to discover who this woman is before it becomes too late. I just pray. Yeah, I pray so too. So, what would you like to eat? Don't worry, I don't want to eat anything. If I'm hungry, whatever the cook serves, I'll eat. Okay, well, please calm your nerves. I will, thank you. Your days are numbered. You outlaw the sorcerer because you think you have other means of sustaining yourself. You banished witchcraft because you want to please your children. I am going to prove to you that you are nothing without sorcerer and the witchcraft. Yes, who is there? The royal cook. Please open the door. A moment, please. Shock. A beautiful queen like you demanded for pounded yam and bitter leaf soup for breakfast. The breakfast is ready on the royal dining table, but I'm yet to come to terms with the contrast. You are a fool. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but pounded yam for breakfast is strange. Get out of my sight! Please don't be angry with me. Please. I'm sorry.
Were it not for him, I would have been a dead man. He saved my life. So I brought him back home for real blessing. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, Your Majesty. And you're quite right. He deserved to be blessed. So what would you have me do for you? To be very honest, Your Majesty, I am deeply satisfied just being close to you. This very experience of seeing the great Eze Abalanze face to face. Oh, thank my stars. It's one I will cherish for the remaining days of my life. Father, bless this man. He already told me he wants to serve you. He holds you in high esteem because of the way you dealt with witchcraft in our land. I think he will be a fulfilled man if he is allowed to serve you. Well, the man who saved the prince's life can save the king's life. Oh, yes. And he's qualified to serve in the palace. I have no objections. Omezu. Your Majesty. Any objections? The Prince has already granted him access before your royal presence. Sincerely, I have no objections. Very well. Nail before the King. May the girls of Abomemi bless you. And your sojourn in our land be prosperous. Can I hear exactly what you want to say? We must be very careful with that man. I have reason to believe he is an evil schemer. Let me hear your reason. He came together with the man who attacked the prince. I believe they planned the attack together. The man was about to pull the trigger on the prince from his hidden position when I ended him with the knife on the waist of the guard. I did this with the powers of imagination that I have. Are you actually telling me you were the one that killed the man? Exactly. I decided to keep quiet when the prince was asking who saved him. And then that liar came forward and claimed he did. So why didn't you tell me this before you went to see the king? I felt he would be intimidated by the presence of the king. I am surprised he remained calm and sustained his lies. We must unmask him. We must unmask him before he destroys something important. My biggest problem right now is that I can no longer unmask anything. The great Omelabo of Abomemi is no longer living in his original abode, and that is a big problem for me. But I think you are the one we are going to guide. You are the one that will unmask what is happening around here. I am sorry, sir, but I do not understand you. I cannot unmask anything. Of course, you can't. But I'm going to guide you to meet Omelabo of Abomemi. Omelabo is the great masquerade of Abomemi people. You will meet with Omelabo, and he is going to unmask what is happening around here. I want you to understand that this is a very delicate issue. I understand all your fears, but we must realize that our father has already married her. So we don't have any other option than to accept her as his wife. There's something I'm very sure of, which you must verify. The woman our father married is not ordinary. Why do you say that? I have this belief that she's a witch. Yes, 
She has a connection with the evil Jigida that I wore for years that almost destroyed me. Every time I see her, I see the evil Jigida hang around her neck. It could be possible that you are imagining these things just because you hate her. I'm very sorry, Odilibe. But you have to realize that you are my last hope. I love Father very much. And I don't want him to die now. No, nothing will happen to him. I love him too. Nothing. If that evil woman destroys our father, this land is destroyed. And we will become subject of mockery everywhere. Women know themselves. She must have seen something. Adana cannot be ignored. We have tried in the past to gain access into this room, but it never worked. This is where all the powers in this kingdom are kept. Inside this room, Lies the secrets of Omesu. Try and gain access into the secret safe and try to exhume some powers. Get down to work. You have limited time. Next time you feel like cleaning any place in this palace, exclude this room. I am not ever comfortable with anybody coming into this room without my consent. Girl, very well taken, sir. I promise it will never happen again. Girl!
Go put up to me. You're looking at me. And it is clear you do not like me. Why would you choose to hate someone that has done you no wrong? There was an evil Jigida. That one witch named Mma used the face of my late mother to give to my sister as a lifetime gift. This Jigida nearly destroyed her life. Do you know anything about this evil waistband? Ah, oh, I am new in this palace. Believe me, I do not know much that has been happening before my arrival. Some people that have more seeing powers than I say that whenever they look at you, they see that evil Jigida hanging around your neck. How can you say you don't know anything about what is hanging around your neck? Who are these people that are trying to associate me with evil? I asked you a question. You have not answered me. I will ask you again. Do you know anything about this strange Chiki that had nearly destroyed my sister. All my life, I have never worn Chiki Because I never liked it. Look, I do not know anything about your Chiki And I will appreciate it so much if you leave me now. I'm the prince of this kingdom and the heir apparent to the throne. You would not make any headway without me. Tell me what I want to hear. Odilibe, Prince of Abo Mimi Kingdom. I do not know what you want to hear from me, and I cannot tell you what I do not know. Prince Odilibe of Abomimi Kingdom, why are you digging your own grave? Why? Amam inene no manya omelabo, buta kigo si muzo mo, asi gite kwa bobo di ne me pie. Diamo <laughs> Kigo si muzo muo Puta kigo si ndigo zo Before the great Omelabo of Abomini. Great one, we understand you left Abomini a long time ago. In the event of your exit, too many things have gone wrong. The land is in disarray as witchcraft and sorcery now dominate the hearts of men. So I have come to seek your direction, great one. Please, what do we do? There are two powers that already gain ground 
In the palace, there is the male power. And there is the female power. They appear to be different, but they are the same. You must unmask the male before you go for the female. Great one, I want to ask you. Is the male one and the same as Anele? And the female one and the same as Nkiru? Their target is the destruction of Abo Mimi. They have gained ground. The land is destroyed. When the king is destroyed, and the destruction of the king is very imminent. Unmask the male before the female. Do this before it becomes too late. Thank you, Great One. Even though I'm sorry to say this, how can you marry a lady that you know little or nothing about her background? And who says I know nothing about her background? She's from Abganabo. And the elders that I sent to her family told me and they confirmed that she's from a great and noble family. How dare you speak evil of a woman that your father loves so much and who cherishes your father so much? Your Majesty, she has a connection with the evil Jigida that nearly destroyed Adana. Send her away, please. Listen to me. Send her away before she settles. Well, you are judging my queen based on what your sister told you. That is unacceptable. It is not. And that's not good for you. A man who will one day become a king. Your judgment should be based on facts. Everyone in this palace sees this lady as evil. As a time bomb waiting to explode. You are the only one that sees that lady as a noble woman. And with all due respect, I disagree with you, Your Majesty. Well, now, let this be the last time you will discuss my queen. Ah, that's my queen. Always ravishing. Ravishing and lovely. Your Majesty. I bless you, dear Annette. Your Majesty. Your presence is where I always want to be. You're welcome, my presence, my dear. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Relax. We were just in a, uh, in a family meeting, and it's good you are here for your family. <laughs> your Majesty, I'm sorry. Um, she's not part of the discussion we have, so she cannot be part of this meeting. Why not? It is part of the family. She is part of the family, and we're discussing family issues. You made her part of this family without consulting anybody. So Adana and I, have refused to recognize her as part of this family. You may continue with that. My king. Hmm. 
I don't know where I've gone wrong. Look, my king, I have plans for this land. I know. And it cannot work out like this if your son is against me. But why worry about my son? I am the man you're in love with. I am the man you married. Okay. I should be your concern. Hmm? Just keep loving me and all will be well. Hmm? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Unacceptable to me! What are you doing in my room? Everything was on reverse. People were running with their backs and not their fronts. What does that mean? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Who gave you this bottle and what does it do for you? It contains the seed of reverse. Find how to put it in the ancient safe of Abomimi. Once it is done, the kingdom will permanently be on reverse. The king will destroy himself and die. Then we can return to our land. This mission is very crucial to us. Make no mistakes. Do not make any mistake. I understand the importance of this mission. I shall not disappoint. <sighs> Your countenance betrays you. It is obvious you are hiding. I ask again, where did you get this bottle and what does it do for you? This bottle is my property. I don't want you ever coming in my room searching my things. Well, you remember what I told you. I will unmask you and when I finally do, I will call upon the vultures of Abomimi to feed on your evil cops. Remember that. Thank you.
Your Highness. Pardon me for intruding into your privacy. But I have to say something. I think you have judged that woman wrongly. By that woman, are you referring to Nkiru? Yes, Your Highness. Sit down. What makes you think so? Your Highness. That woman is not a problem in this palace. She is not the problem. She... I, I can categorically tell you that she is... She's a saint. Yes, a saint. That, that can save this land. It's that... That Bushman called an Nini. He is the true problem in this palace. And if you sincerely want this problem to be solved, then you must, Your Highness, you must send him away from this land. Our problems with Enemy are quite all right, but I can hardly believe that he's the problem in this land. Why would you wish to exonerate that woman? Fine. I'll tell you something about the enemy. This enemy of the kingdom came into this land with a curse. A curse that is reversing everything we do here. This, this hideous charm was manufactured in Maisie. And the single purpose of this charm is to make this kingdom as backward as amazing. If you really want this charm to be destroyed, Your Highness, then you must banish, banish in any. This is very serious. Are you sure of what you're saying? Certainly, Your Highness. Certainly. The, the only obstacle we might encounter is the fact that uh, that wise Omiso has come to trust this enemy so much. That, that poor woman you have tagged evil. No, 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 no. She's not evil at all. She's not evil. She, she was only trying to make the palace lively. By making the king happy, she is completely harmless. Your Highness, if you hate her, you hate her for nothing. Nena no Ota kigo si muzo muo Ota kigo si ndigozo Do you know why I called you here? No, wise one. You know, it is clear to me you've made up your mind to seduce the prince. May I know why? I'm sorry, wise one, but I don't know what you mean by steady as a prince. Was it because of the dance? You call it dance? Listen to me. I was the one that ended the so-called dance. 
and I know exactly what I saw before I ended it up. Do not ever be the one that will throw yourself at the prince. Wait for the prince to be the one that will come for you. It is the prince himself who has always been inviting me to dance for him. I have never entered his room uninvited. In the deepest part of your heart, you know exactly what I am saying. I call you here to remind you that here in a bomb in the kingdom, women do not throw themselves at men because they know it is sacrilegious for them to do so. They wait for the men to come for them. You are free to go dancing for the prince when you are called to do so. But let it be just dance. Do not smuggle in any strange steps into it. Use your beauty to edify this palace, to sanctify this place, not to destroy what we have, the sanctity we've managed to put in place. Why is the wise one reading meanings into my innocent dancers? Why? Substance is the only thing that can save you. Uh, save me from what, Great One? This plot against you is deadly. Sprinkle it along the way that you are sure he would use. Once he steps. Into the sprinkled zone, you shall discover the man behind the man. What about the woman? Unmask the man first. Once you reveal the man behind the man, the woman behind the woman would be no Thank you, Great One. May I know why? I never said I hate you. There is something weird about you that no one knows. I am a woman like you. Confide in me. What is your mission in this palace? You should know that I am your stepmother. And that you should have caught me with the respect of a mother. I take that as an insult to my mother and a deliberate attempt to provoke me. You are not my mother because you are a strange woman. My mother was a noble woman. Are you indirectly saying that I am not a noble woman? In Kiruka or whatever they call you. I am not comfortable with your presence in my room. Your presence scares me. Please don't come to my room again. I am trying everything possible to become your friend. But you are raising war against me. I am wondering why you look innocent yet wicked. There is something about you that you are hiding from everyone in this palace. 
But my brother and I will find out soon. Why do you find it difficult to believe me? Trace the origin of all the Chryseids in this palace. And you will discover that all of them started with the emergence of Enen Yewit. I want you to banish that man before he reverses us back to their primitive level in Imezi. My prince, with all due respect, I'm going to tell you that presently, we have two evil powers residing in this palace, doing everything possible to destroy the king and the land. The first is in Kiru. The strange woman the king married without discussing with anybody. Then the second is Anele, the spy you brought back with you. I disagree with you. I disagree completely. I have personally traced the origin of all these problems. And they all started with Enenye. <laughs> okay. This bottle will unmask the man behind the man. And once we unmask the man, the woman would be easy. Which man are you talking about? I have been working with the great Omelabo of Abomini. And we are on the verge of solving the problems in this land. What is he talking about? Who told him about Omelabo? And how can he possibly be working with them? My prince, I know you. You are an intelligent man of this kingdom, and you understood exactly what he said. He has been working closely with the great Omelabo, all in an effort to save this land. He is not our problem. We have to be mature and face our problem. Are you telling me that you have been working with the great Omelabo for real? Yes, my prince. I am just coming from his presence. He instructed me. He said I should sprinkle this on the way Aniele would use. And once he crosses the spot, the true man behind his mission will be revealed. I will only believe when I see. What do we do? You must be very careful because the almighty Omelapo is now talking with a stranger from Imezi. I have not been able to hear what they are saying or planning, but I know that they are planning our destruction. You must be very careful of what you served before you eat. And you must be very careful of where you were asked to enter. Step in to be forewarned, to be forearmed. Does it mean you will never stop being a bushman? An archaic bastard! Why would you enter someone's room without announcing your presence? At least by knocking! Forgive me. Why is Amesi wants to see you for something very important? He asks that you come with me. Listen, at, at least you, 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 you burst in on me in the middle of something. Uh, give me two minutes. Let me round off what I was doing. This matter brothers on the future of this kingdom and it is way bigger than whatever rubbish you are doing in the comfort of your room. If you are sure you are here to serve this kingdom, then you must come with me now. I've 
after you. If it turns out that Anele is a spy sent to destroy this land, I will kill him myself. Your Highness, you don't have to kill anybody. His own evil shall find him out. Why did you hold? You! You! Are planning evil against me! What are you up to? I'm not planning anything. Greater mess you sent for you. Move. Where is he? I'll take another route to him. Confess your mission here. They have unmasked Anel and they are now closing in on you. You must be very careful before it gets too late. What is the problem with you, my king? You look weak. Now go ahead. Anneli was a spy. Yes. He was sent by a man called Osaswa, the worst enemy of this kingdom. I'm worried. Because there is no telling what they have uncovered. Anneli wasn't the problem of this land. My trusted queen seems to have uncovered the problem. Please tell me, what is the problem? Your son and daughter must be banished. What? Why? My king, you don't need to argue with me on this. Because I know what the problem of this land is. As long as the prince and the princess remain here, the kingdom will continue to wallow in problems. 
a tough request you make of me, my queen. Because my daughter reminds me of my mother. And the prince reminds me of my grandfather. See, banishing them, it's, it's, it's like banishing my ancestors. It seems you do not trust me. I am leaving you to face your destruction. Your son and daughter will stay with you as I leave. And you will surely lose your kingdom. And when that eventually happens, you will remember that I told you to solve this problem once and for all and you refused. And where will you go? To Abanago, of course. Continue with your children. Uh, wait, wait. You can't live like this. You, you, you are the queen. I will. I will conform with your request. Please don't leave me. That's my king. I almost love you. Your Majesty, there are certain things I just can't believe. The letter you left in my office, saying that the prince and the princess are banished from this kingdom. Yeah. Did you write it for him? I don't. What, what does that mean? I am Ezi Agbalaji, the ruler, the paramount ruler of this land, and I have banished the prince and the princess from this land. Your Majesty, how? I have spoken. You are shouting, and I don't like anybody shouting at me. Now, don't tell me you're angry. I've got good news for you. See, I have banished the evil children. They're gone. So, now we have all the time to ourselves. Come. to tell you that the king has finally fallen under the grip of the same evil powers we have labored over the years to destroy. My greatest frustration right now is that Omelabo is angry with me. Do you want me to go back to him? 
I can do that if you think it will help. I mean, then we're in a time like this. Going to Melabo is the only thing that we can think of. And I want you to go to Melabo and ask him to wait for me. All right, wise one. But I think it is late already. Before I can get to the forest of Opene, it will be dark. Do you think the great Omelaba will listen to me at night? Why he still lived here in this ancient city? Countless number of times I consulted him at night and he listened to me. I believe he will listen to you and I want you to set out for the forest of Opene. Okay, wise one. I'll leave immediately.
it mean the, the great Omela boy is also angry with me? If that happens, we are doomed. And I mean, we are doomed. One thing I don't want is for you to be angry. Whatever the problem is, you tell me, and together we will solve it. I am not happy because the king is not willing to solve the problem of this land. Why would you say such a thing, my queen? You asked me to banish my children from this kingdom, and I've done just that. And I promise you that they will never return to this land. Let it be. That will reign after me. That is exactly what I am saying. The elders of this community are meeting in secret places. And I know what they are planning. They are planning to make everything impossible for my son to emerge as king. It is impossible. My dear. It is impossible because they know that my word is law in this kingdom. I will declare heir apparent. You bring out the best in me when you smile at this. Well, I know my plan was something that I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it is done. Banish the elders. The elders have cancelled. How is that possible? I do not want you to argue with me on this. I know what these elders are planning. They are trying to terminate royalty from this family. We must destroy them before they destroy us. I want you to issue the statement of punishment and I want you to issue it now. Why are you bothered about the future of the people that humiliated your mother? Great Omelabo. Thank you. Thank you. My mother was humiliated into her destiny. And she is forever grateful for that timely humiliation. Abomimi is a shadow of her former self. For a woman who is perceived to be extremely evil and wicked has caged the great heirs Abalanze of Abomini. The king is destroying everything and we all know that real soon the entire land will be totally destroyed. And that's 
what I want. I told your mother what they would do in Abar Mimi to banish witchcraft permanently. They refused to listen to her. They called her names and banished her from the land. I want a Mimi kingdom to be destroyed because they sowed the seed of destruction when they refused to listen to Woku. Oh, get on, get on, please. Please don't go. Please, please, please listen to me. Don't go. Hi. Great Omelabo. Great Omelabo. Odogu. Odogu. Please. Please. My mother has already forgiven them. That is why she sent me back here. Please, I beg you, forgive them too. Ah, please. They have learned their lesson. Don't, don't be too harsh on them. There are scales of evil covering the eyes of the king. The witches are teleguiding the king into unpopular decisions. And it will continue like that until the day men shall see tears in the eyes of the king. Oh, great one, great one, please. Please, make it clearer to me, I beg you. Find anything that can make the king to cry. Once he shed tears, the evil scales covering the eyes would fall off. The land would get better when this happens. Go. Go. And start something. <laughs> understand what is going on. I, I have practically sent out all the powers against him. But I don't know why he still doubts what I say. And why he's reluctant to execute my orders. Always realize that you are dealing with a king. He has loads of charms that are fighting us. And always be patient and realize that we are going to win this war. Only God knows what the witches are planning against innocent people. Come back here, you forbidden maid. Is it me you are insulting? There is only one woman I respect in this palace. Her name is Princess Adana. Because of some physical demons in this palace, she has been banished. If you ever make the mistake of calling me names again, we will reduce this fight into a physical combat. And when that time comes, I will kill you. Don't push yourself into your grave tonight, or I'll gladly put you in there and bury you. Why are you saving that maid? Save your weapons for the men war. 
Leave the maid alone. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I don't understand what this means. If you look at that carefully, I'm very sure you will understand what is there. All elders in council are banished from this land, and that order from the king is revocable. Your Majesty, there are certain things you just cannot say. How can you possibly banish all the elders that sit in council? Ah. But they are the problems of this land. I know what they're planning. They must all go. And if by tomorrow noon, I found them here. Oh, they all will be treated like common criminals. Your Majesty. Uh, 
I have spoken to you. This kingdom is finally destroyed. What am I going to do? He said that once the king sheds tears, the evil scales will fall off his eyes. Why can't we do that? Do you actually think it is easy to make a man cry? Listen, even if all men will begin to cry, is a balance that I know. He will never cry. If you are sure that is the case, it can only mean one thing. Which is? We are destroyed. Melabo said the king must shed tears for the evil scales to fall off his eyes. Get Ezamalanzi to shed tears. How is that ever possible? I mean, how are we going to achieve that? I don't know what's happening to me. I'm, <laughs> I'm just too excited. <laughs> Listen to that. I know why you're excited. You were excited because you are getting married to the one that you love. I know. I know. <laughs> and it's enough reason for you to get excited. Um, but... Do you think it is right for me to get married while on exile? Exile? Suyad, this is not an exile. You are just the one that is seeing this as an exile. Listen, your evil father banished you because of a woman. And the best you can do now is to ignore him and move on with your life. Listen, I'm presenting you an opportunity to proceed without a king. Let's get married, raise a family. The king will come later. And you know what? Then we will give him our own condition. What do you mean? Um, this is the man I told you about. Gosiara. I know. I don't like this man. My friend, take down your hand. There's something about this guy's aura that I'm not comfortable with. Aura? What do you mean by aura? I don't think I know anything about you. But I want you to leave my sister alone. Oh, Dilibe, like you rightly said, you don't know anything about him. Why would you dismiss him? I've made mistakes in the past with witches and wizards. I can see clearly now. Even if this man is not a wizard, he has strong links with wizards. I don't want him anywhere near you. If you know what's good for you, don't ever come here again. Why's your brother being so uptight and unnecessarily difficult? Huh? What, what, what? So now listen, I love you. And that's why I came to you. Okay? Listen, we have to convince him to realize that we are genuinely in love. Are you in any way connected to the witchcraft in my kingdom? What? 
Are you accusing me and doubting me? Not because of what he said? Are you not calling me a wizard? Sweetheart. Sweetheart, I don't... I can't believe this. You, you can do this to me. I love you. Sweetheart, listen. listen. You can do... Well, you know, you are all I have left. And I'm contented with that. I'm grateful. You know, my king, I may not ultimately be the best, but I'm so lucky that I'm counted among the best. Uh, my king, you are a project, and I'm going to get committed to you until we die. Yeah, very good, my dear. Ha! Your Majesty, tragedy has befallen this kingdom, Your Majesty. Great to miss you. What tragedy? Tragedy. Your Majesty, come with me and behold the ruins you brought upon yourself, Your Majesty. Come with me, Your Majesty. Can you just come with me, Your Majesty? Ah! Oh. Mm. Your Majesty, behold the remains of the prince and the princess of Apomeme Kingdom. You killed your son and your daughter. You banished them for telling you the truth, Your Majesty. And I'm asking you, are they also banished in debt? No, 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 <laughs> no. Ah, I am finished. I'm finished.
What are you doing here? What do you want here? Abalanze, you are a fool to ever think you can banish us from this land and have peace. Yeah. I am one and the same with Sinkiru. And I can tell you, your reign is complete. You are one and the same as Sinkiru. You are Sinkiru! I brought this upon myself. I ruined myself. <laughs> Your Majesty. Your children are not dead. Do you mock me now? What do you mean they are not dead? <laughs> they are dead. <laughs> they are dead. <laughs> Your Majesty. They are not dead. What you're asking us to do is too risky. What if we drink the poison and pass out permanently? My prince, far be it from me that I will ever take the life of anyone. It's not possible. What I present is a substance that will knock you out for a few hours. I want the king to shed tears. When the king sheds tears, the evil scales covering his eyes will fall off and he will become normal again. This is the only thing we must do to save our kingdom and I want both of you to do it. I'm sorry, sir. I will not do it. Princess Adana, if you love your father, you will do this. If you love our kingdom, you will do this. You see, there are men that actually lay down their lives just to make their kingdoms great. If what I'm asking you to do tonight is the only thing you will do to make our kingdom great again, then I sincerely believe that both of you will give this sincere consideration.
Your Majesty. The scales are off your eyes, and you are now the king. And the prince wanted you. You are alive! You are alive! Oh. Rice. Rice. Rice, my daughter. Never again will I allow myself to be consumed by the vanity of this life. Never. Never. Balance, king of abominity, that enemy of ours that banished us from our land is dead. <laughs> now operate on a different level now. They may call us wizards and witches, but we know what we really are. We are the power in the dark that controls the people in the light. Prince of the Libyan must never be crowned king of Abomini. We are going back to Abomini to take that which belongs to us. From what I know, which I believe we all know, Abalanzi the late king was never the problem. And then here is the problem, for he works with the almighty of the Abomini. And then here must have found favor in the eyes of Omelabob Abomini. But the truth is this, we shall never surrender to that unbelievable. Jukabala Zere! Jukabala Zere! Eskumaka Dorobaneria! Zorabaka! A new king can never emerge in a bomb in me unless there are seven days of uninterrupted peace. We have banished peace from our body. And they can never have a new king unless we are back in the land. How does that concern me? Umelabo is a dragon deity that oversees our bombing. Why have you someone me to tell me about our bombing? I give you one command. Go into the palace in our bombing and kill a Nenye. A Nenye must die with all the evil powers he inherited from his evil mother. We are the children of the king. And as the children of the king, we must never be buried in a foreign land. This is a direct order. You must obey. Yasekebe Shalakaras Ezumuko Baraka Ikelakar 
Kaze, Kumala Kaze, Eleve Karan de Zine Kabakatozuro, Uka, Uka. Ha 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 Omiso knows the tradition. He will never initiate the process of installing the new king unless there are seven days of uninterrupted peace. Do not let it happen. I say, do not let it happen. This is the case Juma Katarai Kerilia, Isamako Katarilia, Usuma Kadiri, Rakebe de Ha 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 ha. Shukuma Ladiria, Is Hilime Katoro Raleya, Kobakosi, Ebe Kaboko, Kashakaba. Ha 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 ha. Shekebela Kosame here, Is Alhemi Nekedi Likatoro, Sukomoka, Ela Soko, Tosuku. And in here, for a king to emerge in a Bomeme kingdom, we need seven uninterrupted days of peace. This is the tradition of this kingdom, and there is no way we can change it. I can bet our enemies would not want a king to emerge. They are working round the clock. Why would you say that? Because of the attack on the palace? It was a dark dragon. A complete departure from the Omelabo that we know. It started in my dream where it threw fire at me. I woke up and the attack continued. The four men are now fixing the portion of the palace where the fire destroyed. If not for only the way the head major came out, I believe it would have killed me. Just like you said, our enemies are walking around the clock to prevent us from having the peace we need. But we cannot give up. There must be something we can do. The 
beast was right outside the palace compound. I do not know why Oliver Boy did not see it. I came to you because I believe that you must know something about this strange attack. It is possible they want to start a war. A war to prevent us from having the much needed seven days of peace we need to crown Prince Odilibe, the next king of this kingdom. And in a time like this, I think you need Omelabo urgently. I gave you a simple command. Go there and destroy the intruder. There has become a tool in the hands of a Malabo. Go there and cause confusion in the palace. What are you doing here when Nelie is still alive? In the course of that attack, the woman appeared. Far be it from me that I must kill a man in the presence of a woman. What nonsense are you talking? Can you hear yourself? Don't tell me that your romance with Egyptian mummies has stirred up feelings in you for a woman. That dragon! You! The fire I threw at him has caught him. Just as I moved to end him up, the woman appeared. And what has the appearance of a woman got to do with the assignment I gave you? A woman appeared and you abandoned the job, which was a command. Why didn't you kill the woman and kill Elenia together? Destroy them both! Most dangerous parts of the woman are the things she does in the dark. I am the Dark Dragon, and my power came from Lydia Zonto, transfigured mummy of the Bermuda. I cannot kill a woman who does not see me. Oh, cut that nonsense, you Dark Dragon! Why can't you accept your incompetence? You're mentioning a lady who is of no reputation in the realm of the occult. You irritate me. You irritate me. Are you trying to cover your incompetence with her tales? Nkenke, do not open your mouth so wide and say what you don't know. Lady Azonto has a set of rules that supersedes the occult. The lady that came after the last fire of death was looking around as I was looking at her, and she did not see me. It means she's a virgin whose eyes have not been corrupted. Killing a man before a virgin, even killing her with a man, will trigger the wrath of Lady Azonto. I, the Dark Dragon of Bermuda, am not ready for that yet. I shall see you when you start thinking right. Just understand one thing, I'm ready to work for you, but only when you think right. <laughs> I do not know who you are. I don't even know how I got to this place. How did you even bring me here? My name is Ibechi. I am here on the express instructions of your mother. If you have any intention of pleasing your late mother, you have to do what I want. Listen, sir. I do not know what games you are playing. My name is Adana. I am the princess of Abomini Kingdom. My mother is dead and would never have anything to do with someone like you who looks every inch a schemer. One thing must not happen today. And that's the reputation of the mistakes of Goziora, who was sent to come and marry you and reconcile you with your mother. But he came around and did something else. You can see the altar is set. You either wed me before this altar today, or I'll kill you. You are not serious, are you? You want to wed me before this altar? Who the hell do you think you are? And why am I even here talking to you? Hey! Stop there! I don't know, stop there! Stop! You don't try walking out on me. You don't try it! You'd rather wed me before this altar! Us! I'll kill you! You cannot intimidate me and I will never succumb to your manipulations. I can never marry you! Never! Never! Then do it! Ah! 
I would you disobey a man who has sold his soul to the lots of Bermuda? No! 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 What's wrong with you? Okay. It was so real. It was what? It was, it was so real. Oh, I blessed my mother. I woke up. It was just a nightmare. Is it the same dragon you saw? What dragon? A strange dragon entered the kingdom, almost throwing fire at people. It even destroyed part of the palace which we prepared. Even Wise Omesu has not managed to explain what that dragon represents. It's like that. But is it the same dragon you saw? Oh, did you see anything like dragon? <laughs> I saw, I saw a man that wanted to wed me by force before a strange altar. And then, when I refused to be so married, he stabbed me. Stabbed me in the stomach. He stabbed me. That's strange. Very strange. Anyway, it was just a dream, okay? So don't just read any meaning into it, okay? Judging from your looks, I can see your royalty. Thank you. I am not going to waste your time. That's good. But please tell me, are you the prince of which kingdom? Why would you want to know where I come from? Because I am going to give the prince every necessary information before he will see you. Oh. Mm. All right. My name is Ibechi. I am a man of this land. Yes, you may not know me because I spent almost all my life across the sea. Well, my mission here is to meet and talk with the prince because I intend to make the princess my wife. But what is it? Behold a noble man has arrived to marry the princess. Yes. Um, you are most qualified. Thank you. Come on, please. Just because he has a link with reality, he will now come and marry the princess just like that. I wish I was born into reality. I am born into reality. Oh wait, I'm, I'm into reality. I'm the palace guard. To the best of my knowledge, nightmares happen only at night. And that is why the name Nightmare. It's so strange that you had this dream during the day. I don't even know what to call it. I can still hear his evil voice. When he stabbed me, he was waiting for me to die. It was, it was so real. It was so real. I didn't even think I was dreaming. It was, it was so real, so real. I, I felt I was already dead. What did he say to you? He, he said. Why must I disobey a man who has sold his soul to the lords of Bermuda? He wasn't hiding the fact that he was evil. He had already set up an evil altar for the wedding. I bless my mother. I woke up. It was a dream. This should have a link with what happened to Eninia a few days ago. Yes. What's that? Olivobe, this is in Jacqueline. The princess has a visitor that must not be kept waiting. Visitor? I'm not expecting anyone. 
open the door for him. I humble myself before your highness. You shall live long, my princess. Who is the visitor looking for me? He is a man of this kingdom that has lived better part of his life across the sea. He has arrived in his majesty and I am pleading with you. Back here, because a strange looking dragon has appeared in your dream and even in the palace with the aim of killing you. Why haven't you appeared here since after the death of the king? Seven days of peace is needed for a king to emerge. Were you ever hoping you could achieve this without me? There were problems that needed my urgent attention in the palace. I was thinking of coming, but something always came up and forced me to stay back. I came to consult you because there is something going wrong in the palace. What do we do? Something is not just wrong in the palace. Something is wrong in the entire kingdom. The wishes and the wizards that died have all resurrected and they are coming with anger. They didn't want to mess you to initiate the process that will see your deliver. Imagine as the king. Please do not let it happen. You were the source of the power that tamed them before, and I know you can do it again. Tell me what we must do to stop them. There is something called the mantle of the king. Because of the way Abalanze's father died, he was buried with the mantle round his waist. That mantle left a huge aura, and that aura remained effective as Abalanze reigned as king. Gradually, that aura has faded away completely, and that is why witches and wizards are nursing the idea of taking over the land. What do we do to stop? Tell Omesu everything I said. He will understand what to do. Importantly, understand that the war you fought already is just like a dress rehearsal. Compared with what is coming, be prepared. War is coming and very soon, they shall be firing from all cylinders. You're not the first suitor that will be coming for her. She already dismissed many. But I'm hoping that she will agree to your proposal. Because you readily look like a man that will give her peace. Uh, oh, here they come. This is awesome. You know, first impression has a lot to do in all situations. I'm glad you're attracted to him at first sight. Is he the one looking for me? He's not just looking for you. He said he wants to make you his wife. And from my interactions with him, I think he's better than all those you rejected. Have you seen me before? I'm a man of Kabomini Kingdom. Though I lived across the sea for so long, but I still remember you. I cannot forget you. You are the princess of this land. Princess Adana of Kabomini Kingdom. Have you ever built an altar where you wanted to forcefully wed a woman? Altar? Forcefully wed a woman? I don't know what to say. Mujaka! 
Makile! My friends! Come! Arrest this man! Why? Prince, why? Move, move, move! Come on! Why? Why? Thank you, Lord! No, I said, move, move, move! Come! Come! Some people. What effrontery! He murdered me in my dreams and he had the guts to walk into this palace and propose marriage to me. No, this is an insult and we must teach him the lesson of his life. If you calm down, my princess, you will understand what I am saying. Enene was attacked in this palace. I don't know how it happened, but I still believe I am the one that saved him. You saved him. Saved him from what? I can't explain exactly what happened. But I sensed something very weird. Real sinister. Yes, he was pointing at that thing that destroyed the palace, but I could not see anything. Is it the same dragon that my brother was talking about? Enenye is trying to unmask what hit him. It could be the same thing that is manipulating you, my princess. We have to be very careful because that young man I saw cannot be the man that stabbed you in your dream. Listen, Oluwebobe. I am not being manipulated by anything. I saw that man in my dream and he was trying to convince me that he has links with my mother. It may be true. Yes, no doubt. But we have to be careful. Get your brother to be careful with him. Emine is working on something. Even if it takes days or months, we should wait. Stop it! Stop! Emine has no part to play in this. This is about my brother and I. This is about our family. Leave us to handle it. By now, you know why I beheaded that guy. Because of his connection with witchcraft. Yeah. My father used to banish them from the land. But we have seen that even from where they are banished to, they are still creating problems here. So I'm departing from my father's method. That's why I set up this slaughter room. Anyone that has any link with witchcraft must die by my sword. You can always count on me, my prince. I hate witchcraft too. Good. What will you want me to do with the body? Cut it to pieces. Open the crocodile chambers and pour the flesh into the pool. How we do, I should say, my prince. No third party hears it. His name is Ibeji. He noble man of Abomin. He came to marry the princess, 
But as I speak, they've murdered him in the palace. And how is that any of our business? We gave you a simple target which was the princess. But you failed to kill her. That proves to me that you are an incompetent user of the power I gave you. Let all men be a witness. Let all men, everything on earth and under the earth, be a ghost or a witness. That I'm not an incapable user of the black power. No, rather, I am capable. I am reliably worthy of using the black power. The prince is a problem. He has adopted a dangerous means. He is killing everyone, everything that has a link with witchcraft. He should be a problem. He should be a focus and not the princess. The mantle of the king will soon be in the hands of the men you seek to tame. Once they have that mantle, they shall perfectly execute your second death. You died at first, resurrected. If you die the second time, you will never resurrect. They will then have the much needed seven days of peace and a king will emerge in a world war. I don't know much about this dark dragon. But I think I believe him. We must sit up or we are going to lose this war. And it's going to be a disaster if we are defeated by mere humans. How do we get to this forest of Mamboko? Prince Odebe, retreat the guy from the man. The same guy used to, that guy shall guide you on the journey. Who is this man that stole the diary? The intruder that he already wanted. That diary is not just simply a diary. It is a compass which he stole from the priest of Libra. All the years he traveled across the sea, he used that compass. That compass will guide you on your journey to the forest of Mamboko. Men must live immediately. 
Jackie, what's happening? What? The man that you went in with that said he came here to marry the princess. Where is he? Or is he going to sleep in the palace tonight? The man left the palace long time ago. What's the problem? Left through here. Through this gate, of course. Where would you have wanted the man to follow? Wait, Ndaki, you are telling me that the man left through this gate? Of course. Ndaki, you are a liar because I have been here since you went in with him. I did not set my eyes on him. So, where did he pass through? This is a very good way for me to know that you have not been a wonderful palace guard. So you can be in this palace, yet you don't know what is going on. Eh? Wait, wait, wait. Do, do you mean to say he passed through this gate? No. The man jumped over the fence. Idiot. Better mind your business. What I did with him was private. And it happened in the new room I set up. I remember giving instructions to Jack Kelly that no one discusses it. How did you get to know about it? Did Jack Kelly tell you? We've been discussing with your grandfather. My grandfather died 30 years ago. How could you say you've been discussing with him? He said you retrieved their diary from the young man. The young man stole the diary from the priest of Libra and has used it over the years to navigate his way across the sea. We need that diary to create peace, crown your king, and ensure permanent peace in this kingdom. My grandfather told you that? Did you retrieve any diary from the young man? If yes, we need that diary to trace the forest called Forest of Mambuk. Stop this! Stop it! You are not a man! You are not a man! I am a man of this man! Is it a crime that I came into this palace to marry the princess? Will you shut up? This guy might be a spy. Yes, let's see what he is. See what I mean? This guy has link with witchcraft and he cannot leave. That diary shocked me like electric when I touched it. And that was when I confirmed that that young man had link with witchcraft. Show me the diary first. We shall know what we must do to prevent it from shocking anybody any further. to me? Why are you tormenting me? Why? Your brother was smiling and I thought he was a nice man. 
loaded for my arrest. And before I could know what was happening, I was dragged into a room where he suffocated me with a towel soaked with some poisonous liquid. He killed me. Adana. Adana, I am here to ask. Adana, where did I go wrong? Where? I was never part of it. Please, just let me. Just let me go, please, please. Adana, you must be a fool to think I would let you go. I died by your brother's sword, and you must die by my sword. No, no, no. Okay, set up the altar one more time. I'm ready to wed you now. Please, don't kill me, don't kill me. We no longer need the wedding. We no longer need the altar. Because your brother had wedded us with a sword. He had wedded us with a sword. As we speak, I am a spirit. And I will convert you to a spirit. I must convert no, you to a no, spirit. No, no, no.
was only the aura of that mantle that nearly destroyed us. If we allow them to retrieve that mantle proper, it will be difficult for us to return to our ball. Whatever it is we must do, must not include going near Wamboko. Then why can't we go near Wamboko? Because Wamboko is not the kind of place you go anyhow. Effort must be made to terminate the journey before they enter the forest of Wamboko. Once they get to Wamboko, it will be too difficult for you to gain the kind of upper hand you want to gain in Abomlin. Use the mysteries in you to figure out what you must do. This beast that Odinkin invented is only making things more difficult for us. from me. Who? The suitor. My brother killed him in anger. And now he wants to kill me too. Why did your brother kill him? Why? My brother believes he has a link with witchcraft. And anyone who has a link with witchcraft must die. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm beginning to see weird things like swords, arrows dangling in the air, hanging in the air. I'm wanting to cut me open! I... My princess, please, you have to calm down. I think you need to tell Wise Omiso about this. Uh, I don't... I don't know. I don't... I don't know why... Why it has to be me. I... I don't know. I... I... There is something about you I'm not comfortable with. Something like what? You look like someone working for some unknown powers that seek what to destroy. Why would you appear in my compound making inquiries about an enemy? Some people are going to pass through your shrine very soon and I came to ask for your permission. There is something we already set up. I want to use your shrine to hit back at them. You are the priest of an enemy. And I know you will have no problems granting my request. I could have used your shrine without asking for permission. But I want to avoid problems. Am I permitted? How did you get to know that I am the priest of Anil? I asked the people and they told me. <laughs> Anil is not the kind of deity that people approach with stupid requests. I don't know the man you want to hit, and I don't know you. To be mild, you will not use this rhyme. You should not be told the importance of this mission. His name is Azuka. He is the priest of Anienu Shrine. As long as he is alive, we cannot manipulate that shrine. Go there. Tell him anything that will make him want to cooperate with you. If he dares to resist your request, kill him. If he dies on the account of refusing to cooperate with the powers of the dark, his blood shall be upon his head. <laughs> How do you want me to kill him? 
physically or spiritually. Oh, when you see him and he proves that he wants to die by refusing to work with you, there and then you shall choose the best path to follow. But remember one thing, the prince, I say the prince, must be healed. Here asking you for what I know you can do. I am ready to pay. I want to use your shrine. So please allow me use your shrine to hit back at the people who seek my permanent destruction. Even if you pay with your kidney on a platter, you will never use the shrine. I know how to deal with stubborn people like you. You know the caliber of man standing before you? Why do you want to make things difficult for me? Who is this man that came to dig his grave? Is this man that came to throw powers at me? Is it in? I can't believe this. What are you doing here? And then, yes, I'm talking to you right now. Is leading Prince Odilibe and the warriors through the shrine. I don't understand what you're doing here. Honestly, Odinkenke, I don't even know how I got here. All I know is that the priest of the oracle was not ready to cooperate. Not ready to cooperate? And you came back here? Why didn't you kill him? Why didn't you finish him? That was exactly what I tried to do. But he reversed the power. Excuse me? He reversed the power? How did he reverse the power that I gave you? It's my imagination. We must use the shrine. Then we'll do so without the priest. Because he is not ready to cooperate. Mm. You see, dear, no. I remember that I've already told you. At the way of Ubaro of Umoba has already sown a seed in the hearts of one of the warriors. And that seed will manifest to your advantage. Transport yourself back to the shrine and make use of that advantage. Okay, more. Okay, more. Now, when you are about to lose your nanny, eh? But when you are about to lose your nanny, who's okay? Let them. This is Kola. I have come before you today. There's a strange man that wants to use you against some people. I don't know who they are, but I am here to direct you. Do not allow yourself to be used. Do not. Hmm? Okwa neri kolecha, memiana. Hmm? No matter. What they come to tell you, 
no matter the sacrifice they come to offer to you no matter the promises they will come to me do not listen to me do not betray any people that worship you as their shepherd god do not he shall do well with us. Eh? Mmm! 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 Hello, Colonel. Problem. Why did you hold like that? And why are you looking around as if there are strange forces, unseen forces, ready to run us over? We are in Enu. This is where they have Anienu, the shepherd god of Enu. We are proceeding to the forest of Mwamboko to fetch the mantle of the king to save our land. What's our business with Enu and their people? The men we war against are not resting. They are working tirelessly to bring down our kingdom. As we proceed on this journey, we must not look back. No matter what happens, we must not look back until you hear from me. All these things you're telling us, are they contained in that diary or are you just making them up? Of course they are in the diary. It is not an ordinary diary. It shall lead us to many things. You've heard him. Yes, my yes, Prince. Shall we proceed now? There's no time. One more thing, my Prince. As we proceed on this journey, we must remember that we are doing this to salvage our land. Let that preoccupy our minds. No matter what happens, we must not take anything from the forest. I repeat, we must not take anything from the forest. The forest of Mwamboko is no longer far from here. With your permission, my prince, may we proceed. Thank you. No looking back. I'm doing everything possible to understand you. Are you conceivably saying that we are friends? After all you did in this palace? Or are you of the illusion that I do not remember what you did in this palace? The truth I want to sink into you is that we are both friends. It is only you that is seeing me as an enemy. And I wonder, if you continue seeing me as an enemy, how would you reconcile with your mother? Reconcile with my mother? What do you mean? Do you know my mother? Well, I know her very well. And I must tell you that you are wounding her where she is. My mother died when I was a child. I didn't even know my mother. So why would you say a thing like, I'm wounding her? Your mother did not just die. She was killed by men who misunderstood what she stood for. And it's just a pity that you are associating with this man. Why are you wounding this woman that gave you life? Do you know what? You're sounding really weird. I can't figure out a thing from all you just said. A 
I will see you soon. Your favorite fruit salad, my princess. I know you like it. Are you saying you didn't see the lady that just walked out of this door before you entered? A lady walked through that door. That's so scary. I didn't see anyone. Who is she? This is becoming really confusing. You didn't see any lady walk out of that door. No, I didn't. Wait a minute, my princess. Do you mean to say that there was a lady here and that she disappeared? No. This is becoming too much. You really need to see the wise Omisu. I don't even know what you're waiting for anymore. represents too many things to too many people. No matter what happens, do not look back and do not take anything from here. We shall soon get to our destination. is the seed of Ovodan, the secret of the West. A day is coming when you have the privilege of passing through the shrine of Anienu. When that comes, drink up the water of the shrine and you will have power to change the negative things around you. Wise one. Can't I on my own locate this shrine myself and perform the ritual immediately? I want to have powers. Every man needs power. Some are desperate about it. Some are very cunning by what they want. But many are killed by the power they gather around them. I wouldn't want you to make the same mistake. Tell me on how to locate this shrine. I promise to be careful in my approach. <laughs> you cannot locate the shrine of Anenu unless you are led by someone who has the compass of across the sea. I know the opportunity will come one day. When it comes, capitalize on it. Thank you, wise one. For those that pet pebbles, ask for your love. I am following the instruction of Obago of Omoaba. Give me the power that I seek to control all negative things around me. That's exactly what you will get. The power to control things around you. You see, Danny, you are supposed to be dead. And as a matter of fact, light and darkness have nothing in common. What are you doing here and where are you coming from? <laughs> as you can see, I am not dead. And I have you where I want you. The rainmaker who brings the rain should not be afraid of the thunder strike. You see, Denu, I am a warrior of a bone. You can never intimidate me. <laughs> I told you, I have you where I want you. You are already glued to the ground. And uh, you cannot leave, except on one condition. 
What condition? <laughs> you must kill the prince. You see, dear, how can I kill the prince? A man that I fought so much for him to sit on the throne of his father. I cannot do that. My prince, it is now safe to try. You are defending him for nothing. I must kill the prince. Udilebe can never ascend the throne of his forefathers. Never. Shut up! I don't know why the princess has refused to come and see you. She's been experiencing strange things in this palace and I don't know why she's not telling you. I think you need to do something fast before she loses her mind. We are passing through a dicey period in this palace. And everybody must be very, very careful. You scare me when you talk that way. Does that mean that we have no hope for the long anticipated seven days of peace? Hope will come when the mantle of the king is retrieved. As we speak, the prince and the engineer are leading some of the selected warriors of this kingdom on that mission. The problem with the princess has a link with the past. She will be okay the very moment the mantle of the king arrives this palace. But how long would that take? The princess is beginning to lose her composure and decorum. How long would that take? I can say that the princess is losing her mind. Ole Bube, you should calm down. Calm down and understand that we are walking. The good days shall soon be here. And you will be happy to see the good days. I can't believe this. I can't believe that you, you, Okudele, of all people, would want to kill me. You do not have the right to live. If I fail to kill you, then I shall kill myself. You don't shut up your mouth now. I am going to slice your throat. <laughs> How dare you talk to the comic king like that? <laughs> Inchakele, <laughs> you are only fooling yourself. A child that swallows a cherry seed must consider the length of his annals. This one can never be king in a moment. One of the men they banish shall soon emerge king. Inchakele, do not kill this man. We need him alive to unmask what he represents. You are not serious. Did you not hear the blasphemy emitting from his mouth? You see? You see? This is a clear evidence that this man has a link with witchcraft and in line with my new law, he cannot leave. And you cannot prevent Njakele from striking this blasphemer. Njakele! Strike him! Njakele, do not! My, my prince, my prince, I beg you, do not let your anger rise. This man is only a distraction and I know how to handle distractions. Please. Both of you shall remain here. Watch him closely. And even as you are here, know that you are working for the progress of the kingdom. Be vigilant. My prince, we have a mission to complete. We must not be distracted. With your permission, may we proceed. Let's proceed. I must kill you. Fools. I 
I must kill you. Look at them. Fools! Both of you are in serious trouble. Madoze, are you listening to this helpless captive telling us that we are in trouble? Don't provoke me. Don't provoke me! Jacqueline, I promise you, you shall not survive this. Jacqueline, I must tell you, if you keep listening to Okutle, you will make mistakes. the road leading to our sacred Wamboko stream. The stream where maidens of Wamboko wash their bodies. And the stream where all sacred things are kept as they watch over the virginity of the maidens of Wamboko. It is a taboo for men to be found within the vicinity of Wamboko stream. So I ask you, what are you doing here? I'm humble and impressed with the way you are dressed up. It shows that the maidens of Wamboko are still conscious of their customs and traditions and we are grateful. Who are you men? And why are you here? I am Odilibe, the prince of Abomimi Kingdom and these are my warriors. Witchcraft has taken over our kingdom Progress and prosperity have been halted. There is a sacred thing in that stream that we want. Remarkably, one of you said that sacred things are kept in that stream. What we came for is the mantle of our king. We need that mantle back in our land so that we can have peace again. I'm not going to ask you how your mantle got to our land because the ancestors of many lands trust our stream as the safest place to keep anything of value. But my problem is that strange men like you all must never descend the hill of that stream. There must be a way out. The said mantle has been there for more than 30 years. We need that mantle to heal our land. Please, guide us like maidens that have conscience. Please. We ran into this man when they were about to descend the hill of the sacred Wamboko stream. According to them, they say they've come to pick up the mantle of their king that has been there for 30 years. And we know they will die if they descend that hill without your approval. We've brought them before you for two reasons. First, to verify their claims. And second, to know the way forward. Your Royal Majesty, Ezen Naya, Ezo Daligo of Abu Mimi Kingdom. I greet you. You're right, sir. That's my grandfather. He was the king that reigned before my father. And he was the one that asked us to come here and fetch the mantle of the king. Where is that diary that has been guiding me in your journey so far? What diary are you talking about? My name is Ikbonze. These medians brought you here because they want to help you. And I am helping you because of the name I have already mentioned. And you must help yourself by not hiding anything from me. That diary was stolen from the priests of Libra. The ancestors allowed him to make the infamous journey 
to the palace to make him pay for his crime and to surrender the diary. Where is the diary? Confirm that you were sent by a Zeodalico. Thank you. Take them to the stream. Oh, thank you very much. When the dust settles, I'm sure we'll come back to formally thank you. Follow. see fear in your eyes. Goose pimples are all over you. And I'm wondering, why are you afraid of a woman, a lady who is as harmless as you are? You're not just a lady. I know you have links with someone seen forces. You are not visible to all eyes. And I can say you are a ghost. What do you want? Why are you constantly pestering my life? For how long will you abandon the music of your mother? Answer me. For how long will you dance to the rhythm of men? You are back to the same thing you said earlier. And I'm wondering, what are you up to? Why do you constantly make reference to my mother? You do not know my mother. Adana. Don't underestimate me. stream and this is the tree I believe you are looking for. Your mouse is in the stream but first you must locate it physically before the main thing will emerge. We came with the impression that the mantle will be hanging somewhere for us to pick but it has turned out to be that there are many coats to choose from. Give us some time to pick exactly what we need. Well, in that case, you have to go back to your land and ascertain exactly what you need. We cannot leave you here. It will amount to serious abomination. What are you looking at? And what do you think you are doing? My prince. There are many clothes, but I know how to get what we want. What we see is only a key, a key to unlock the real thing. Beautiful. Then what do you want us to do? Be calm.
His Royal Majesty, Ezenia Ezel Daligo of Abomimi Kingdom. We call upon you to complete what you started. You were a great king, and I know you are hearing me. We need the mantle of the king to heal the problems facing us in our land. Please guide us. How do we go about it? How do we retrieve the mantle of the king? Help us, Ezenia. Help us. Disappointed if this is the almighty mantle of the king. Whoa, well, this is not your mantle. It is just a key to unlock your mantle. Then how do we get the mantle? You should be asking us and not him. Now that you've seen your key, we can now bring forth the main thing. and go in to think that my mother was murdered. What do you have to say? Who have you been listening to? Forget about who I have been listening to and answer the question. I know you cannot lead me astray. Was my mother killed? You are beginning to think negative these days and I don't know why. But I must have to warn you immediately. If you continue thinking negative in this palace, then we may not be able to accomplish the healing process that we have started. We may not be able to have the seven days of peace. You are the wise Omesu, the greatest philosopher of our time. I have listened to you right from when I was a child. And I've never had reason to think that you can deceive. Why am I suddenly thinking that you are deceiving me? I'm not going to allow your outburst. Is that the future is very, very bright. Can they have a future when they haven't dealt with the past? What past? The past about how my mother died. The past that they know and are not willing to tell me how my mother died. You just said it all yourself. Your mother died. Yes. She died and she was buried in peace. I believe she is in peace where she is now. You have to occupy yourself with that kind of negative. Not these extreme dimensions you are bringing into it.
Come with me. And there is nothing you can do to us. We must have our positions back in this land or we will kill everybody! I can't believe this. At what point did he enter you? Where are we? Are we back already? Hope we'll retrieve the mantle of the king. My prince. I am now convinced that Omesu is not as sincere as we have always believed. I have reason to think that he knows something about how my mother was killed. And he's not ready to say anything. My princess. In this era of our history where we are being manipulated, I don't think it is right for you to accuse Omeso of anything just because a strange woman tells you something. I think you really have to be sure. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Do you know any place in this kingdom called Eden of Sanctity? Eden of Sanctity? I have never heard of that place before. Or was it the same strange woman that told you about that? I need someone to take me to that place. Once I get there, a lot of things will be clear. Men that win wars are men who are never tired of war. Convince your enemies that you are permanently ready for them and they will never attack you again. I wonder why you said that. The men that died already are all alive. They are coming for revenge and they are coming with anger and frustration. You all must wake up before they destroy you, finally. But we have not been resting in the palace. We have been doing everything possible to achieve peace and progress in our kingdom. There is something you must do, and you must do it urgently. Tell me what it is, Great One, and it will be done. Kill, Princess Adana. Great one, did I just hear you correctly? How are we going to achieve the seven days of uninterrupted peace if I kill the princess? She has been associating with the beauty that destroyed. She has been saturated with information that will give life to steady destruction. Adana is going to be very evil when she starts. I regret that it has come to this, but Adana must go. If everyone in this kingdom decides to lie to me, would you also lie to your little sister? I guess you know the answer to that yourself. I cannot hide anything from you. I mean, why should I hide anything from you? I cannot hide anything from you. I don't know why you cannot believe me. She was my mother. She was also your mother. True. Has it ever occurred to you that it's possible she was murdered? 
How can you allow such thoughts rise in your head? Don't be ridiculous. I don't know. Look, our mother died a couple of years after your birth. And she was buried in peace. She may have been buried in peace. Using all the money in the world to give her a befitting burial. But she did not die in peace. I have reason to believe that she was murdered. The earlier you stop thinking that way, the better for all of us in this palace. Our mother was a noble woman. Who have you been listening to? Do you know a place called Eden of Sanctity? Eden of Sanctity? Who have you been listening to? Your countenance betrays you. It is clear that you are hiding something. I'm sorry I bothered you. Excuse me. Eden of Sanctity. My father told me that what led to the death of my mother was connected to Eden of Sanctity. Who is Adana talking to? Why do I have this feeling that you are hiding something from me? What did Dombelabo tell you? He said something about the princess. But that is not important to me. What is important right now is the fact that this mission has made us know that our enemies are more active than we thought. Dombelabo said we must not sleep. Enene, I am not bothered about our enemies for now. I am interested in knowing what Omelabo said about the princess. Why, if I may ask? What he said is flimsy and feminine. A great man like you should not bother yourself about it. The princess is beginning to listen to some strange forces. I don't know what she's up to, but she's looking strange to me. This is why I am insisting that you tell me exactly what Omelabo said about her. Similar to what you said, he only used different words. He said the princess is starting to deviate. Summary is, we must be careful. I don't know the people the princess has been listening to. But I think we have to be very careful with her. Did she tell you anything? She knows about the Eden of Sanctity. And my father told me that my mother's death was connected with that place. And asked me to be very wary of the place. So for the princess to know about that place smells danger to me. What do you think, sir? What did Omelabo tell you about the princess? Exactly what I told you. Everything is starting to come together. We must be careful of the princess. The beauty that destroyed. Who is this beauty? Good evening, sir. Good evening. I've been hoping to see you. Now you're here. Okay. Why did you want to see me? I understand the princess has been seeing some strange visitors lately. Do you mind telling me what you know about this? I know you trust me. And you know I will not hide anything from you. It is only one visitor. I don't know this visitor because I have never seen her before. The princess is the only one that sees her. Mm -hmm. If you do not know this visitor, how do you know it's uh her? -huh. I know because the princess told me so herself. 
She will always be leaving while I'm entering. And then the princess will ask me if I saw a lady at the door. But my answer will always be no. I was so scared the first day it happened because it was clear to me that I exchanged a walkway with a ghost. Hmm. A ghost? Whose ghost? I don't know. Coming around. You saved my life. Thank you. What you represent was about to explode. I cannot let that What do you mean by that? What are you about to do? You have no right to live. No! Please, please, please. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I will do anything you want me to do for you. Please, just spare my life. Please, don't, don't, don't. Be calm. Calm. Don't, don't, don't scream. Of course, you know I cannot hurt you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to protect you from forces, dark forces that want to destroy you. Should I trust you? Of course. Of course, you can trust me. It is me, Enenye. I'm supposed to be sleeping. But I felt it in my spirit that some forces, dark forces, want to attack you tonight. So I came here to fight them. Go back to sleep and know that I am here, standing right here to protect you. Sleep. I, I don't feel like sleeping again. I can't sleep again. Thank you very much for wanting to keep watch over me. But I, I would love to be left alone now. I see you don't. You don't believe in my services anymore. I'm okay. I I just won't sleep again. here when my mother died, but he has been initiated. <sighs> what do I do now? What do I do? What do I do? What do? This is the first time I'm going to disappoint Omelab. She is now like a sister to me. I cannot kill Princess Adana. I can't believe this. What are you?
What's my business with what he said? He already found his way into my room and would have stabbed me if I didn't wake up from the dream. No, no, no. I was asking because I found myself in that scenario before. I confronted him and he said he had a ministration that I was about to be attacked and came to defend me. It could be the same with you. That's why I wanted to know what he said. I'm disappointed in you. You're defending him. Both of you are working together. Excuse me. I don't know. The mere fact that you're not from Abu Mimi Kingdom makes me very curious. When did you leave your kingdom for you to be able to be the first visitor we're having in this palace today? My name is Okudiba. I am the royal messenger of Ezopoku of Okpoko Kingdom. I have a letter to deliver to Mesu. What is the message? Give me the letter, then I will pass the information to him. Sorry, we have a different method in Opoku Kingdom. A letter from Ezopoku that is. Okata, I'm happy at least you did something. But I'm beginning to think that what you did is not as strong as I had desired. Aduke Kemiru, are you serious? Do you know what I did? Yes. You used the powers that I gave you to manipulate the king of Opoko Kingdom to set up a wrestling contest between his people and our people. And that you called nothing? Our target is to destroy the prince, and that I have perfected. The prince will come out to wrestle the man of Opoko, and I will give him his chi. No matter how strong a wrestler is, he cannot win a contest against his chief. But now tell me what happens if word is sent to Abomimi and Omesu refuses to oblige the wrestling contest. Prince Odilibe, we know, is full of youthful exuberance. I believe he will honor the wrestling invitation once the time comes. Leave it. weigh us down continuously in this kingdom as we speak making it impossible for us to achieve the much desired seven days of peace to make you the king this is not the best of time for us to be talking of wrestling contest if you think that way you're giving the banished witches reason to rejoice they will think that they are succeeding if nothing is happening here as a matter of fact i intend to make that contest even bigger than this letter solicited for. That way, we will be sending a strong signal to them, all of them, wherever they are, that we are on course. You cannot make the mistake of trusting any of these men. 
They were all part of the conspiracy. And they are trying everything possible to cover up what they did. I used to trust Enenye because he was not part of this palace when my mother died. But I had a revelation that showed me he is part of the problem. He wants to kill me. <laughs> Enenye is a man with a living conscience. He cannot kill you. Are you sure? The revelation I had was different. He grabbed me and actually stabbed me. I agree. They may have given him a deadly instruction. But I am here to tell you that Enenye could be trusted. He is the one that could help you unravel this mystery. Go to him and use the woman in you. My princess, what are you doing here? Why are you looking worried again? I need someone to direct me to this Eden of Sanctity. I don't know why I'm not seeing anyone. And now we have to figure out a way to win that contest and remain relevant in the scheme of things above Oboko people. Why? Why will he do such a thing without your consent? Huh? In a time like this? Why? I do not understand this. What are you doing in my room, my princess? For the very first time in my life, 
I'm going to ask you for a favor. And please, do not say no. If you say no, it would mean that you have succeeded in sending me out of circulation. And you wouldn't want to do that. Well, right now, my princess, you're like a bone hanging round my neck. But if you plan to ask me to take you as a woman, I will tell you right this minute. Do not say that, because I will say no. I am a princess, and I know what being a princess is. I never planned to ask you to do that. Hmm. Very well then. Ask for anything. Anything at all, and right this minute, consider it done. You are not from this kingdom, but you have become very relevant in our history. There's practically nothing that happens in this kingdom that you do not know of. Please, take me to the Eden of Sanctity. And why would you want to go there? You promised. Don't forget. Oh. Mm -hmm. I read an essay written by Wise One Omesu titled When the Queen Killed Herself. It had to do with your mother, and it was connected to the Eden of Sanctity. Please, please, tell me about the essay. Well, your mother was asked not to go there. Your father believed that if she went there, she would be contaminated by witchcraft. She disobeyed your father, and she went there secretly. The king found out and ordered her execution immediately. That is why wise one Omesu documented that she killed herself. My mother was executed just like that? My father was that evil to execute my mother just like that? Well, you grew up under your father, my princess. So you must know how he hated witchcraft. The moment your mother went there, your father believed that she was communicating with witches. But that was a flimsy reason to execute my mother. I do not think so. It was not flimsy. Nobody has the right to disobey the king. Your mother's offense was grave. Yeah, I agree with you. She was wrong to disobey the king and that was a very big mistake on her part. Please, take me to the Eden of Sanctity. Is this not the opportunity? Take her to the wild and kill her there. Why are you looking at me as if you do not want to take me there? My princess, for one reason, just one reason which is personal to me, I will take you to the Eden of Sanctity. I do not want to ask you what the reason is. I know you are a man with a living conscience and you would not want to do stupid things. The princess is not supposed to leave this palace without you. How is it that the princess is not in the palace and you are here? How can you explain that to me? I had no idea that the princess was leaving the palace. I just woke up this morning and I found out that she is not here. Excuse me. My um, The guard at the gate. 
said the princess left long before Enenye. In his own opinion, they were not together because she went left and he went right. Is that not what I told you already? Enenye is a man of great honor and integrity. And I don't think he would like to undermine the structure we have in the palace. I just hope so. Because if I discover that he has been the one revealing all the mysteries he's been reading in your essence to the princess, I'll kill him. He cannot do a thing like that. Trust me, he can't. Do not panic. I am equal to the task. What's that? Are we at the Eden of Sanctity? Yes, we are close. But there's smoke. I need to figure out what it is. Show yourself! I am taking this innocent lady to the Eden of Sanctity to fulfill her curiosity as a woman. Who are you and why are you blocking my way with smoke? You! You were the one that asked me to go to the Eden of Sanctity. Why are you finally blocking the way? You are already where I want you to be. You did well to have brought her this far. Now you can excuse us. I want to take her to the conclave of the Queen to see her mother. And you think I will let you kill this innocent woman? You are a liar. And who told you I am planning to kill her? Her mother is my friend. I want her to see her mother. Her ministry will have a focus once she sees her mother. Adana, Adana, what are you doing? Come back here. What are you doing? This woman is evil and you know it. What are you doing? The name my mother gave me was Neka, meaning no. This is quite unlike me. Why did I make this decision? You are one of the maidens of Mwamboko. What are you doing here? How did you get so close to me? I was not able to speak to you when we met at Mwamboko because I was with my friend. So I decided to embark on this journey to Abomi to meet you. <laughs> well, I'm lucky I found you here. And now you've met me. Why are you looking for me? Can you look into my eyes and tell me that you don't like what you're seeing? I mean, you don't like what you're seeing? You are a visitor sent to the land of Abomimi to redeem them from witchcraft. Don't you think you need a woman like me in your life? I volunteer to be that woman. 
Why do I have this feeling that what is standing before me is not the same maiden of Wamboko? Do you doubt me? How would you want me to prove myself to you? Well, my name is Omama Mazraho. The maiden that assisted you to fetch the mantle of your king. <laughs> Come on, I deserve a better treatment from you. Hmm. Is this what I get for assisting you solve the problem in your land? I mean, why, why, why are you giving me your sword? We have not solved the problem in the land because we still do not have seven uninterrupted days of peace. If you want me to believe you, then touch my sword. And why would I touch your sword? I am not a warrior, neither am I a sword bearer. I Woman, I do not have time for sentiment. Vindicate yourself by touching my sword or you shall die by it. How dare you! <laughs> Nkenke, Nkenke, when will you get tired of your manipulation? I don't know why you were fooling around in our land. Go back to the bush where you belong and let us take over our kingdom. have been trying everything possible to prevent Odilibe from emerging as king. This is because he betrayed me. You are the one I want to impose on them as the ruler of Abomimi. This is why I brought you here. Mother, I am a woman and it's impossible for a woman to emerge as ruler of Abomimi. You? Mother, are you associating with this one? He's evil! He's part of the people destroying Abomimi! My daughter, you are wrong. Just the way I was misunderstood and executed was the same way you can get was misunderstood and was banished. Justice may be delayed, but can never be denied. You are the new face of justice. Just go and do exactly what I ask you to do in private. And then yeah, I know mess are the real problems we have. And you are the only one we need to get both of them. We needed to bring you here that you may hear from your own mother firsthand. And now that you have listened to your own mother, I believe that you would be of help to us. When I asked you to kill the princess, I knew exactly why I said that. You failed to listen to me and now, that beauty that destroyed has taken her beyond this book where she has thoroughly become one of them. Great one. It is not as if I, I disobeyed. I was only trying to buy time. I volunteered to take her there so I will kill her. But right now, Adana is like a sister to me. It was not easy for me to kill her. Why in this world would you decide to buy time? I am very disappointed in you. And I'm asking you now to leave my face. Great one. Great one, please. Please, I, I beg you. I beg you. Don't, don't, don't leave. Don't leave, great one. Please. <clears throat> 
Hodogu. Hodogu Omelabo. Temper justice with mercy. I beg you, give me one more chance. I pray she comes back to the palace. And I promise you, once she does that, I will kill her. It is too late. She has been exposed to the deception of the Wind Mother. And killing her now will not yield any positive result. When next I give you any instruction, do exactly as I say. Please obey me one more time, and you shall see me. You left this palace without my consent, my princess. That was very wrong, and I want you to admit it. I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was leaving. There was something very crucial I needed to attend to. But the important thing is that I am back now. And as we speak right now, you're the only one that I now trust in this palace. For real? What about the wise Omisu? You don't trust him too? He is the main problem that we have in this palace. He instigated my father to execute my mother. And you can also agree that he could not be exempted from what happened to my father. He has been the one manipulating us. Manipulating all that we have been doing in this palace with his wide knowledge of philosophy. You are making some weighty allegations against the wise Omisu. And that is not right. I'll leave you now. But I shall be back later. That stunt you pulled. Huh? You asked me to take you somewhere. We were going there. Then you abandoned me in the middle of the road and went with an evil woman you already know her history. When you were done asking useless questions, close the door behind you. Excuse me. Did I just hear you correctly? That I am asking useless questions? I used to trust you. I used to admire your courage. I was beginning to see you as a brother. But now all of that is history because I hate you so much. You hate me? Why? Leave my presence. Now! From now onwards, be careful with the princess. Why would you say that? The princess is not a dangerous lady. And I know she trusts me, absolutely. Why would you want me to be careful with her? The lady who has been appearing to her is the same evil lady sent by the evil men to destroy this palace. The evil in Kiru? Well, that's not possible. The princess can never associate with that evil woman. You are sounding this way because you do not know what is happening. Just be careful before you are cut in the middle and definitely she will cut you into size. In Kiru. I am not good with wine because it makes me feel somehow. So I avoid drinking. This is not just a wine. It's a wine from your mother. Of course you can't afford to turn it down.
Thank you. You're welcome. Ultimately, we have to eliminate both Enenye and Omesu. Because if they both remain here, we will find it very difficult to succeed. Those two are no longer human beings. How is it ever going to be possible for anyone to kill both of them? <laughs> Should I, with that statement, conclude that you are afraid of the same people that eliminated your mother? You know what to do. Where is she? Where is who? I am the head maid in this palace. And I know this palace inside out. What you're holding is a very cheap wine glass that is never a part of the wine glass collections we have in this palace. Where is it from? If you continue like this, I'll be forced to conclude that you're just the same with all of them. My princess, is it in Kiru for real? Or is it someone else? I trust you so much. And I have already told you how I feel about you. Don't kill it. Don't! Stop us now. 